James Dresnock was born in Norfolk, Virginia, to Joseph Dresnock Sr. and Margaret Lucille Dresnock. He grew up in poverty, with his mother often engaging in prostitution and leaving him and his younger brother, Joseph Jr., in the car while she drank in bars. Eventually, their family located them in Atlanta, and James was sent to live with an aunt. However, he frequently ran away from home. James's parents divorced in 1951, and his mother lost custody of the children. James returned to live with his father, but after a contentious argument between his father and stepmother, he was abandoned at a retirement home. From there, he ended up in a foster home in Virginia, finding solace with a Presbyterian minister and his wife. Dresnock dropped out of high school and enlisted in the army out of desperation. He served in West Germany for two years before returning to the U.S. and discovering that his wife had cheated on him. Filing for divorce, he re-enlisted and was sent to South Korea. Depressed and disillusioned, he ran away from the army and crossed the minefield into North Korean territory on August 15, 1962, just hours before facing a court-martial. Life in North Korea provided Dresnok with a fresh start, meeting other U.S. defectors like Larry Allen Absher. Together, they starred in propaganda efforts, appearing on magazine covers and using loudspeakers to encourage more U.S. soldiers to defect. Initially, the group intended to return to the West, even attempting to seek asylum at the Soviet embassy in Pyongyang. However, they were turned over to the North Korean authorities, leading Dresnok to settle in North Korea permanently. In North Korea, Dresnok became an actor and appeared in several films. He was known as Arthur by his North Korean friends, given his role in Unsung Heroes. He claims that despite the North Korean famine in the 1990s, the government always provided him with a full food ration. Dresnok was married three times, first to Kathleen Ringwood in 1959, whom he divorced after his defection. His second marriage was to a Romanian woman named Doina Bumbia, with whom he had two sons. After her death from lung cancer in 1997, Dresnok married Donna, a North Korean woman with whom he had a son named Tony in 2001. He retired in Pyongyang, occasionally giving lectures and enjoying fishing. Reports of his death surfaced in April 2017, and his sons confirmed that he had died of a stroke in November 2016. In their statement, they expressed loyalty to Kim Jong-un and a willingness to defend North Korea against a preemptive strike by the U.S. That was a glimpse into James Dresnok's life. Comment to suggest new story. Like and follow for more.